Hello everyone, welcome to chapter 11. I don't want to start off by talking about uh, something that I heard in one of Bigowski's commentary videos. Like I, I watched some of them to you know know that I'm not like you know, repeating what he said. And um, apparently someone was talking about a karma run over on a message board on Game of FAQs that was um, you know a karma run. You know he said that it was 90% luck and 10% uh, skill. And uh, you know take it from me, that is just the biggest pile of bullshit anyone could ever say about a karma run. You know it, it, that is just total crap. You know, a karma run, in my opinion, a karma run is probably about 10% luck, 40, probably 40 or 50% skill, and the rest is, the rest really is just determination, you know, to do a karma run of this level, you really do have to be determined to, you know, to max out everything and go for the high score. But, you know, if, um, if someone ever says, you know, it's, it's all luck and no skill, then it's blatantly, that, you know, their strategy, you know, their strategy that they're using involves luck and therefore you know it's their strategy that's flawed not the game so i just wanted to clear that up but um as always you know it's you could say it's a matter of opinion and in my opinion you know that that's just not true karma running takes a lot more skill than most people say anyway for uh, chapter 11 it's pretty you know, it's pretty boring stuff the uh, underwater fights are you know really really just not entertaining to watch and they're even worse to play but um, with the um, dragon sword underwater, if you can get it at a certain point, you can just uh, you know press X all the time, and you can just like get in a certain position where you'll hit them every single time, and you'll kill them you know really fast. And it's the best way to get you know like an extra about a thousand points out of the kill bonuses. Now I think it was Ed who first talked about this strategy about UTing these helicopters, and uh, if it all went you know perfectly, you you would be able to get three UTs here. But um, as you can see, you know, there's, there's one helicopter always likes to stay at the back. And uh, the reason I charge there, you know, wait a second, is so that when he comes back, I'll have my UT, because otherwise he'll be too far away. And, you know, that again brings me back to, you know, about knowing your enemies, and, you know, that's, that's more about skill, not luck. You know, you got to know your enemies and know what's possible and know what isn't possible. And uh, as always, make sure you get the spear gun. It's on the uh, dead ninja by the more massive statue. And, uh, you know, some of the time limits without the spear gun are, are not possible, so you definitely want to make sure you pick that up. But the only problem with it is that Ryu's auto-targeting with it is pretty bad. You know, for the most part, it, it really is quite crap with the spear gun. He misses a lot, and there's the uh, last fight before the elevator where you fight Doku. You know, that time limit's really hard because, you know, Ryu, I've had one time where he, he missed about eight shots in a row and just failed the time limit. So, you know, you have to get really close to them as you can to get your, um, you know, definite kills in with a spear. And now this is a, this fight's time limit is really generous. But again, just kill the two on the other side with the Windmill Shuriken and then just charge your UT and get that guy. You know, you've got loads of time in that fight, so you don't have to worry about it too much. And uh, get the oxygen tank and um, go in the little, like, maze area and pick up the other medallion. And uh, for this fight, if you uh, save after the, um, like, if you save and reload to do this fight, you have to like go in the tunnel um, where I went to get the oxygen tank and come back out to make the bats respawn. Like they're not there when you very first load, so just go back in and come and come in again and just you know respawn the bats to chain a UT. <coughs> and again, you know, for this fight, for the underwater fights, you know, just use the spear gun. As you can see, you know, there's more fabulous targeting right there from Ryu. He's like two inches in front of him, and yet he's just shooting at the other one. So, as I said, you know, it's pretty bad with the spear gun. Yeah, the reason I uh, do that instead of the dragon sword is because of the dragon sword, you have to get really close to them, and they can, you know, laser you a bunch of times. It, it, you know, it's pretty much, it's as quick, really, but it's just, it's a lot more annoying if you keep getting lasered. You know, it's just one of the things that really pisses me off, so I just use the spear gun. This is the fight that I was talking about, and uh, it really does help if you go, like, you know, down when you um, enter the fight. You know, just swim right down, because if you're really high up where uh, all the um, like enemies are, you know, Ryu's targeting it, it, it's just absolutely terrible, and it'll just keep missing. Like as I said, you know, get as close as you can, so, you know, there's a low, lowest chance of you missing. And then just go and save. And then here, here's the fights that I talked about in Chapter 8, what I'd leave, these two ninja encounters. And uh, for this one, it's pretty much the same as it is in um, Chapter 7. Just drop your smoke bomb. E.T. Now, hopefully, you know, the best case scenario is that that would kill two. But it didn't. So 
so you know just fiend seal them it actually worked out a little bit better for me that i got hit because now i only have to get bit once by the uh, like fish to get my low health uf for doku and just come down this way and make sure you've got your smoke bombs <clears throat> and then as i said you know in this fight now you can get three uts whereas in chapter eight you know that's not possible Again, just drop your smoke bomb, and I tried to use the Warhammer for this, because it's got a lot quicker UT, but, you know, A, you don't need to, because you, you know, you've got more than enough time to use the Dragon Sword, and with the Warhammer, you know, you've got a high chance of killing two in one, and you, you just don't want to do that, because you won't be able to get three UTs. And after this fight, I go to the um, Muramasa that you go to in Chapter 6, and fully restock my smoke bombs, and then go back through, and get my low health UF, and then save. Now, uh, for Doku, uh, I remember Big Elski talked about, um, like, ETing him at the start, and I can really can't remember uh, what else he said, but, you know, I found that, you know, just, like, when he does his um, ground attack, it's the best way to do that. I know, it's a pretty short chapter. Uh, end of time is 18 minutes, and the total kills is 34. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in Chapter 12.